since we have the new Microsoft Office suite, uh, which includes Word and Excel and PowerPoint and Outlook all in the 2013 version, we're going to need to concern ourselves with backwards compatibility since there will still be computers in the school district that do not read the new file format that 2013 uses as a standard. So let's say I have a document that I want to save and I pull up the save as dialog from the file menu. You see here I have a number of options. I can choose where I want that to go and once I've done that I'm going to see a screen that's probably pretty familiar. It's a lot like the Save As dialog screen in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. You'll see here where it says Save As Type. The default is DOCX or in PowerPoint it's going to be PP TX or in Excel it's going to be XLSX. Uh, these are all new versions. Chances are you've run into problems in the past trying to open a file that somebody else made with a new version of Word or Excel or PowerPoint using the old office that we used to have. Now you need to be concerned about that same problem saving files to be viewed by people like your students or other staff members who might be using the old version of Office. So in this Save As Type drop down menu you see we have a lot of different options. We can save as all kinds of things. Um, you see we can save as a PDF. That's always pretty handy sometimes. Uh, if you want your document to be a PDF to send to somebody in an email. You'll also see up here it says right here Word 97 through 2003 document and you'll, say that you'll see that it says star.doc. It was after version 2003 that Microsoft went to the new X format where everything got an X on the end of it. So DOC went to DOCX and XLS in Excel went to XLSX in the new Excel. <clears throat> so if you're wanting to save a document so that somebody else with an older version of Windows or another version of Office can read it, uh, you can always choose to save it and you'll see here in the file name it has changed the file name option to a DOC. You just simply click save and your file will end up saving as an old DOC. You can see up here uh, now the document is called .doc uh, and people who want to read that uh, you'll see the file that I just created here Windows 8.doc that'll be readable by anybody with any version of Word and the process is going to be similar in PowerPoint and Excel you're going to save files for people with older versions of Windows to read those files by going through the same save as process